Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the HT Physio Quick Tip Series. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to stop leg cramps at night time. This is an incredibly common problem for many of my clients and they report to me, oh, I've been waking up three, four, five times a night with my calf or my hamstring or my thigh muscles just going into cramp, waking me up and disturbing my sleep. Now, if you go to your doctor, the first thing they'll do is they'll tell you to start taking quinine, but many of my clients don't want to take a medication. And then besides quinine, the doctors often don't have that much to suggest, but I've got five things to suggest to you that might help and hopefully they'll reduce your cramps. So the first thing I'm gonna to suggest to you is to stretch your leg muscles during the day. And the reason I'm suggesting this is based on a study that was done in 2020. They took a group of older people who suffered with leg cramps and they split the group in half and half of those people were given a simple stretching program that they did three times per day, just for a couple of minutes each time. And those people reported significantly less cramps at night and the intensity of the cramps was less as well. So I'm gonna show you three stretches that are pretty good to do throughout the day. These aren't suitable for everyone, but if they're pain-free for you, you can do them and your doctor or healthcare professional is happy for you to do so, give them a try at home and it should reduce the frequency of your cramps. So the first stretch we're gonna do is the calf stretch. And this stretch is really good for people with cramp because many people who get cramp get it in their calves. So this is a nice simple stretch. You can do it any time throughout the day. All you need is something to put your hands against. So I'm gonna use this wall. You're gonna put your leg at the back. The one at the back is the one that gets stretched. You're gonna keep both feet pointing forward in the same direction and both heels on the ground. You're gonna keep the back leg straight and then bend that front knee like this. And what you should find is a pull or a stretch in the back of the calf at the back there. Now with all of these stretches, you're gonna hold them for 30 seconds because that's been shown to be the most effective length of time to hold a stretch and gives you the most bang for your buck really. So you would hold that for 30 seconds and then you can swap over and you can do the other side as well. And you wanna take these stretches to probably a five out of 10 in terms of intensity. We don't wanna to go to a 10 out of 10. We don't want it to feel like the muscle's about to tear. We just want to feel like uh, there's a bit of a stretch happening in the muscle. So that's the calf stretch. With these stretches, I'd recommend doing them a few times throughout the day. The research shows that it's better to space them out throughout the day rather than to do them all in one go. Now the second stretch that can help with leg cramps at night, and this is particularly good for ones that affect the back of your thigh, is the hamstring stretch. So this is a nice exercise to do to prevent the cramps that come here, but don't do this stretch if you've got sciatica because it can sometimes make it worse. Now let's have a look at the stretch. So what you need is a chair. I like to do this stretch in sitting because it's most convenient. And you're gonna shuffle right to the edge of a chair. So you're sitting on those two bones on your bottom and you're gonna put one leg straight out in front of you. Now you want the leg to have a floppy foot at the bottom. So we don't want to be pulling our toes up really tall like that. We want the foot to be floppy like this, but the leg to remain straight. This leg's bent, you've got the foot on the floor, you're gonna put two hands on your bent knee and sit up nice and tall, and then we're just gonna lean forward, but we're gonna hinge at the hips, okay? So we're not bending our spine, so we're not rounding our spine like that, we're keeping the back straight, and you're hinging forward at the hips. So that gives you a really nice stretch down the back of your thigh. You shouldn't feel pins and needles or numbness. If you are, then you've probably started pulling your foot up. You wanna keep the foot relaxed and just lean forward like that. I'll show you on this side. So again, we're gonna perch on the edge of the bed. This leg stays bent, this one goes straight. The foot stays relaxed, you sit up tall. And again, we're just gonna lean forward like this. And as with the other stretches, we're gonna hold them for 30 seconds and repeat that a few times throughout the day on each side. 
So the next stretch we're going to do is the quad stretch. And this is a great stretch for people who end up with cramp in their quads or in the front of their thigh. I have many patients who've asked me about this problem and this stretch can be an effective way to relieve it. So I like to do this stretch in a side lying position. So I'm going to lie facing the camera so you can see. You can do this on your bed. You don't need to do it on a mat on the floor because it works just as well on a bed. And you're going to start lying perfectly on your side and you're going to bring that top leg up like this. And ideally what we want to do is we want to grab as far down the leg with our upper hand as we can. That might mean bringing your leg a bit further up if you've got the flexibility. It might mean if you haven't, you're gonna grab the shin rather than the ankle, but you want your hand to be quite far down. Now keep your back relaxed as you do this. What you're gonna do is take your leg out behind you until you start to feel a pull in the front of the thigh. So the pull should be down here, okay? Now, if you're feeling it in your back, chances are you've gone back too far with your spine, so you've hyperextended. So keep your back relaxed, keep your pelvis neutral, okay? So keep your pelvis in the same position as when you started. And you just wanna hold that gentle stretch for 30 seconds, and then you're gonna roll over and do the opposite side. So again, it shouldn't be an intense stretch, it should be nice and easy. Obviously only do this if it feels comfortable to do so. If you've got a bad problem with your knee, you might not be able to do this stretch with your hand like this. So you could try putting your hand here and bringing the leg back a bit further. That might give you a stretch. The alternative to that is you use a towel. One of the ways I often show people with a bad knee how to do this stretch is to get a towel like this. You can loop it around your leg and then you can take it out further behind you. Don't let it fall out of your hand like I did. And what you want to do here is you're keeping your knee less bent. So you've only got a 90 or 100 degree flex, but you're taking your leg a bit further out behind you. And in that way, you can still get a stretch there without having to bring your heel close to your bottom. Now take that with a pinch of salt. If you do have really bad knees, don't necessarily try all these exercises, but if that feels comfortable to do so, it can be a great way to stretch the quads. Now the second piece of advice I've got for you for preventing leg cramps at night is to be careful of your water intake. Now when I say be careful of water intake, most people assume what I mean is that you're not drinking enough and you need to drink more. Now the issue is, if you drink too much, you're also going to put yourself at risk of cramp as well. So when it comes to leg cramps, finding a balance is key. If you don't drink enough water, then yes, that can cause cramp at night. But if you drink too much water, it flushes out a lot of your electrolytes like sodium and potassium, and that can leave you at a higher risk of cramp as well. So I recommend most people find some kind of fluid balance that suits them. It's going to be different for everyone, but if you're drinking loads and you're wondering why you're still getting cramp, it could be that you're drinking too much water. One solution for this problem is to find an electrolyte tablet or electrolyte powder that adds sodium, magnesium and potassium into your drinking water and then sip that throughout the day and it will help you maintain a better electrolyte balance. Now the third tip I've got for you to help you prevent leg cramps at night is to consider using a magnesium rub. Now magnesium rub is basically like a, 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 an oil or a cream that has magnesium in it that you put onto the areas that have the cramp and it seems that magnesium rubs are taken up better by the skin than if you take in a magnesium tablet. Now that is slightly controversial, there isn't um, ev there is evidence in either direction for that, but I found many of my clients find a magnesium rub helpful. Obviously only use it if your skin is happy for you to do so because not everyone reacts well to the oily rubs. Now the fourth tip for preventing leg cramps at night is to not drop your salt intake to zero. Now many people are told by their doctor that reducing salt in their diet is a priority because of their blood pressure and that is absolutely the case for many people. But people can get themselves into trouble with cramp at night because they completely eliminate salt. Now salt has something in it called sodium and sodium is an electrolyte. It's still very important in the body to have some sodium. We don't need a huge amount 
but we also don't do well when we have zero. And if we have no sodium coming in from our diets, that affects the fluid balance within our bodies and it can make cramp more likely. So if you've completely eliminated salt, you might want to look at your diet and see whether uh, you've taken too much out. Obviously speak to your doctor when you're messing around with salt levels, but that could be run one of the reasons you're getting leg cramps and adding a little bit more, and I stress a tiny, tiny bit more, can sometimes help with cramp. And then the fifth tip I've got for you for preventing leg cramps at night is to use pillow placement around your legs to help you sleep better. So there's two places I would experiment with using a pillow. The first is between the knees if you're a side sleeper, so lying on your side with a pillow between your knees. And the second place is underneath your knees if you're a back sleeper. So both of these things put your legs into a more natural, more neutral position, and that can help to stave off cramps as opposed to lying with them fully extended or one leg crossed over the other. So I hope those tips are useful for you. Give them a try if it's safe for you to do so and hopefully you'll experience less leg cramps at night time. If you found this video useful, please do like it, leave a comment and let me know you found it useful and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you on the next one.